Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Josh and I'm so glad that you're here. If you enjoy the video today, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my IG down below. Alright guys, so I've got the new vlogging kit set up. Uh, we're debuting it, so I'm curious to see how it sounds. Um, comment down below because I just want to make sure that this is going to work in the future but I don't see why it wouldn't. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to make a Korean style meal. Um, it's definitely not 100% authentic. Um, that would require a lot more work and I don't have the patience right now, <laughs> but make Korean style and we'll see what happens. So basically why I'm doing this is because I'm from South Korea. Uh, I was born there, I was adopted very early, and I'm in the mood for Korean food. For those of you who don't know this series on Netflix, it's called uh, Crash Landing on You, and I wouldn't say it sparked a whole interest in my culture that I've never had, but it's definitely made me want to go back more, and just because, you know, there are Korean restaurants here where I am, and they get you by, but... Let's be real. If you're in the country where the food's from, <laughs> it's not even gonna come close. So, tonight we're making something pretty straightforward. Basically going to make three eggs, put them in a pan on top of rice, and then dried seaweed on top. So let me show you what you're gonna need. Here are the eggs. I'm going to use three of them. You'll need a frying pan with sesame oil. You'll need rice, or in my case, an instant pack, and dried seaweed, and then soy sauce, which is easily obtainable. I have the burner at seven. You don't want to cook eggs on a super high temperature, just a reminder. And the first thing that you're gonna do is crack three eggs, one, Two, three. Do that. Always wash your hands, or at least rinse them off. Whatever, that tore funny. Then I'm going to break the yolk. I don't want sunny side up. You kind of want to go for a hard over slash sort of scrambled style. So break the yolk. It's definitely not sunny side up, but it's not like a traditional omelet either. Now all we have to do is just let that heat up. And meanwhile, I will prepare the rest of the food. The next thing that I'm gonna do is, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take my rice pack, open it up. Okay, that was a horrible job. Whatever. Oh, it worked. As you can see, there's the rice. Now all we have to do is let the eggs cook, and then we'll put the dried seaweed on, soy sauce, and I'll show you the uh, final result. just put a hair of soy sauce on in certain areas to keep it moist. I don't need more sesame oil. I don't like to add too much oil into uh, things. You know, as a firefighter, that's when it gets a little bit smoky. And I just happen to know that the smoke alarms here are slightly sensitive. So I've set them off once. Been very close to doing it again. First time I set off the smoke alarm, was when I was cooking bacon and some grease got on the burner. It was so worth it. And I was down to my last batch and I was like, oh, they didn't set off the smoke alarm. It goes off and it's like, dang it. And then the other batch, 
and the other time very close was when I made ribs and sauce got on the uh, wire that heats the oven. That didn't go off, but it was close. All right, guys, so the step here is about 20 to 30 seconds before your eggs are done. Start chopping them up into thin slices, um, these little strips. Makes it easier to eat that way. Come on. Cooperate. Cooperate! Turn off the burner. As you can see, there's the finished product. Now all you do is take your bowl of rice. Do that and you have eggs on top of rice. Sesame oil is going to give it a nice flavor. Soy sauce, very traditional. Last thing is to take dried seaweed and I've already split it in half so only half the pack's been used. And basically just shred it to your desired liking. Um, this part gets a little bit messy. If you use the dried seaweed that I do, it's dried seasoned, so it's got oil and it's got salt on it. Um, frankly, I don't think that you're... Listen, let's just put a warning right here. Um, since I edit my own vlogs, I will put a warning up that says do not use a ton of soy sauce. Um, look, because of how salty dried seaweed is when you buy it seasoned, it's like that, by the way. Um, I will say one more time, you do not need a lot of soy sauce. In fact, I recommend... See how I'm shaking it like so? Just do a couple of drops. Just like that. Use this for flavor. Do not use it to salt. The dried seaweed will take care of that itself. It is so salty. Alright? So, there is the finished product. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Once again, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my IG down below. I hope that you uh, learned something about my culture and are going to try it. Let me know how you like it if you do. Also, uh, let me know how the audio quality is now that I'm using a microphone. And also, I think the lighting is so much better ever since I have a light on top with the microphone as well. Guys, that's going to wrap it up. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and goodbye.